So the Toyota Innova, which literally changed the way Indians traveled on the roads, and now it's back with a new form, with the new Innova High Cross. And I'm joined by the Vice Chairman of Toyota Kilosko Motors. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, 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 Vikram Sir. Uh, tell, tell us about the car, uh, the occasion of the launch, and what are your expectations from this vehicle now? Our, we have worked very hard to make this suitable for Indian conditions. It's a high domestic content vehicle. We are manufacturing everything here, and I'm sure it's going to appeal to our customers because we have we've studied what our customers like, how they've been using the vehicles over the last so many years, and uh, we certainly want to keep the spirit and the name of Innova alive, and and the loyalty that it has. Tell us about the numbers, sir. Uh, the, where will it be manufactured and, uh, and and when do the bookings start? When, when can the customers really get a hands-on experience with the, with the new Innova? We are starting production next month and the cars should be available in the uh, showrooms by end of January. Right, by the end of January. And uh, what would be, how would you manage the waiting period? Are you planning to expand on the, the network side? And where will it be manufactured along the Fortuner plant? Or give us some details there. So this is being manufactured in Plant One alongside a Fortuna and uh, the leftover, you know, a diesel that will continue, Krista diesel. Uh, yeah, it's tight on capacity, but please understand, you know, we have just come out of COVID, and uh, we are hitting back. The industry is hitting back numbers which were highest in 2017. Uh, I'm very optimistic that the market will continue growing, the economy will continue growing. But uh, I just want to make sure, you know, there's a lot of talk around the world of recession and things. There's no point in, in uh, you know, sharply increasing uh, your uh, capacity. We will continue working on seeing how we can produce more by improving our efficiency, more hours, various other things in our supply chain. We'll try our best and try our best to meet the demand. Uh, so, give us some numbers for investments. Uh, you initially, initially, uh, invest recently invested a big amount. So, uh, are you on track on that or uh, are there more plans? No, we, during COVID, for both the High Rider and High Cross, as well as the new engine plant and new transmission plant and all those things, we've invested close to, along with our suppliers, 4,800 crores. So, we are, we are pretty much on, we've pretty much completed all of it now. And uh, now we have to get the payback from that investment. We have to pay back from the investments. So, how are you planning to do that? through more sales and probably getting more numbers yeah, yeah, and, uh, and raising more money through the markets. Is there a plan through that as well? Or to getting money from Toyota is also on the cards right now? We don't need any money from anyone. We, are, we haven't uh, taken money from the market or from Toyota in the last uh, 15 years, 20 years. So, yeah, we are, we are okay. Last two questions, sir. Uh, big into the uh, electric vehicle segment now, big into the hydrogen segment now. Uh, what are the plans for when, when can when can the normal Indian or the normal Aad Madmi get to drive those cars in India now? Hydrogen, long time, I think. Uh, pure electric vehicles, I think they're available in the market. And I think as the infrastructure improves, as we say, uh, from our side, uh, as more renewable energy comes onto the grid, you'll certainly see, you, you, you'll see appropriate technology for India. Right. And outlook on the auto sector now, sir. Uh, we have out of COVID, good festive season sale, good consumption there, but how about, how about Toyota and the auto sector? I think car, Toyota and auto sector, good. Good. Last <laughs> question, uh, expectations from the budget, sir. Uh, what do you think should be done by the government to further boost I, I industry? Want, I want stability in, in policy. I've last so many years, I've always said this. I want stability in policy. If you want to make changes, announce them for a five-year term. Don't announce them for one shot. That's all I ask for is stability. Any particular policy that you think should be whatever, most realized, be it finance ministry or road transport, highways, heavy I, industries, any particular one or two things that you would like to highlight? I always say try to reduce the budget deficit. So, you know, if it's going to cost me more in taxes because of budget deficit reduction, I'm okay. I, I think as a country, we we have to grow, we have to control our how much we spend. So, yes, autos are high tax, but I don't think we have a choice right now. In the, uh, but going forward, next 10 years, they should look at how to reduce the taxation and all well, that. That was Mr. Vikram Kiloskar, candid as always, uh, talking about stable policies for the industry and of course, how Toyota Innova will again change the way Indians drive on the roads. Keep a watch out on the new Innova High Cross. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.